The circle is another really important shape for the SAT. They like asking questions based on circles, so it pays to know them backwards and forwards, regardless of what your score goal is. So let's talk about the parts of a circle. So let me attempt to draw a circle here. Usually have many problems with this. All right, that's not bad. So first thing, radius. So the radius, oh, first we'll we define a circle often by the one point in the middle. So this is circle P. So if you ever hear circle O, circle N, that just means the center is that point P or N or whatever it is. Now the first thing we want to talk about is the radius. And the radius is usually the key to the question. So here's the radius. It's from the center to the arc to the outside of the circle. And finding the radius, as I talk about in the SAT Math Tactics questions, is usually the key to any circle question you're going to do. So it pays to, whenever you see a circle, think, okay, let me get the radius, or at least find out how I might be able to get the radius. The diameter is actually pretty straightforward. It's related to the radius. And it's just double the radius. It's basically from one end of the circle through the center to the other end. So this is a diameter. So we also know that the diameter is equal to two times the radius. You don't necessarily need the diameter for certain problems because if you've got the radius, you've got everything you need. But uh, one formula is circumference is pi d, which we'll talk about actually in two seconds. Let's just talk about that right now. So circumference is the pretty much the perimeter of a circle. It's what is the measure of the entire outside length of the circle. So the formula you're given in the sheet is c is two pi r, where r is the radius. Uh, sometimes you'll see it as c equals pi d. Notice d is just 2r, so they're the same formulas. Um, one thing, just a general note about circle problems, you can generally for the SAT keep pi as pi. You don't have to turn it to 3.14 unless you're trying to estimate something. Keep it as pi. The answers you're going to see are in terms of pi. You don't have to get much more fancy than that. Okay, another formula that is at the front of the each section as well is area. Area equals pi r squared. Again, where r is the radius and then pi is, you can just keep it as pi. Um, one other point before we move on to arc is that, and this is again actually at the front as well, there are 360 degrees in the circle. 360 degrees of angle. Similarly, we can call the outside arc, we can say there's 360 degrees of arc. Uh, we'll talk more about central angles in a second. Arc, so what is an arc? Well, an arc is just a piece of this outside circumference. So we could say if we've got some, let me draw on a new circle actually, so it doesn't get too marked up. Uh, okay, here's a circle. So if I have some point and I have two radii going like this, these two radii cut off this arc right here. Now a sector is the same thing, just the entire area as well involved. So you're cutting off a piece of area. Uh, in this way from the center, two radii kind of describes this sector. A central angle is basically what we see here. Notice I'll just draw on another one. Let's have this. A central angle is just the measure of this piece, this angle right here. It's going to be some fraction of 360. And let's say this was 20. This corresponds as well to 20 degrees of arc, uh, which doesn't come up too much. But what's important, as we're going to see in some SAT tactics videos, is whatever fraction of 360 this central angle is, so too will the, this arc be that same fraction of the circumference, and this sector will have the same fraction of the area as those other two. Right? So they're all related. And we're going to see this on harder circle problems. This is an important thing to work on. So definitely check out the practice problems of these if you're looking for the, the harder circle questions. Uh, so just as an example, let me give you one more just to drive the point home. Let's imagine I have a circle, and I have this central arc, central angle of 60 degrees. What does this mean? Well, this 60 degrees is 60 over 360, or one-sixth of the circle, right? That means this circumference is one-sixth of the circumference, and the area of this sector is one-sixth of the total area. And these are important on, like I said, harder questions. One final note, this hasn't come up as much as it used to, like on older SATs, but the tangent to a circle. So a tangent to a, uh, tangent to a circle is a line that just touches the circle at one point. And in fact, if you connect the radius to that point, you create a right angle to that line. Again, a very minor point does not come up much at all. If it does, it'll be in harder questions, but it is within their rights to ask about it. So you should know about it if you're going for a really high score. And that looks to be 
the majority of the stuff with circles really just comes down to knowing how to work the problems. And that is going to be uh, what the math tactic series is going to be about. So go ahead and check that out.